Welcome back, it's OG here, and you're watching another attempt at the air launch to orbit. If you saw my first air launch to orbit video, you'll know that I didn't make it, but I did not accept defeat. I rebuilt the plane from scratch, and here we go. There's a plane. As you can see, there is no rocket visible this time. The rocket is in a cargo bay, as it perhaps should have been initially. I have solved the problem of handing over control from one pilot to the other by leaving control with the rocket pilot all the time. So yes, the rocket pilot is actually flying this plane. Um, because this is KSP, things did not work first time, as you shall see shortly. Picking up speed down the runway, everything looking good, but the landing gear is located very far back and that makes it tricky because you can't pivot the plane but I had to do that because of the rocket. However, it means that my only chance of taking off came when I got to the end of the hill and I was hoping that would then launch, launch me into the air and I could fly from there. But then my plane turned into a bird. And the wings fell off because it was almost going supersonic by that stage. So, like any good Kerbal engineer, I reinforced it with a lot of struts and I sent it on its way again. But the landing gear was still in the same place, so it was still tricky to pivot the plane. It was impossible to pivot the plane. So I came up with this brilliant idea. Let's retract the wheels while we're rolling down the runway. I could see disaster coming, so I quickly put them back up again, and then the plane exploded. Predictable, but I had to try. So I started messing around in the hangar with the suspension, and then I messed around with it more out here on the runway, and then I nearly tipped the plane over by making the springs too springy. And I quickly put them back to the default settings, avoided disaster, and I thought, well, maybe this time things will work. I'll just get to the end of the runway like I did in the first run attempt, and hopefully this time the wings won't fall off. I'll take off slower, everything is strutted. So a nice roll down the runway, but then I started getting impatient. I'm not flying yet, the speed is increasing, this thing should be in the air, I don't want to be going supersonic again at the end of the runway. So once again I decided to retract the wheels. With exactly the same consequence as last time. Yeah. I am my mother's only son, and I am also my mother's dumbest son. So I built another plane. I don't think I actually changed anything. And no, I did. I did uh, put canards on the front so that it could lift off. I could generate lift in the front of the plane, and I didn't have to rely on the plane tilting from an elevator input. Will canards work? Will they get me into the air? Yes, they do. It's not pretty, the plane bounces around a bit, but that was just some fine tuning I needed to do. And as you can see, she flies quite well. Wheels retracted, and up we go, heading for launch altitude. I had to do quite a lot of juggling of fuel because the plane uses fuel from the rocket and at this stage there's still no way to stop that. Not one that I can find anyway. Toggling the cross feed off does not work. Firing the big rocket in the back of the plane, trying to get some altitude with the goal then being as I've got some altitude and some speed, I launch the rocket. This rocket just eats through fuel. You can see the oxygen dropping very quickly in the one tank. A 
Fuel is gone. Time to launch the rocket. Rocket launched. Gets free of the bay. Fire the rocket. And stability is an issue. The stubby little rocket is just... It's just not stable. And that rocket motor is a bit big for it too. So... Eh, spinning. A lot of spinning. That's what I did with this rocket. Now, fuel is always a concern with such a small rocket, especially if you want to get into stable orbit. And you can see how it's just swinging back and forth, being extremely inefficient with my limited fuel. But eventually I kind of got it going the right way. But then the first stage was depleted. And the second stage, I, I got that burn to get an apo app of 11, um, what is that? 110 kilometers. Um, but that already sucked half the fuel out of the stage because this is a very small stage. So I tried to do the circularization burn and no fuel was indicated. However, I am OG and I don't let things like no fuel deter me. Um, go and watch my videos from Juno. Uh, my Juno New Origins video. Go and watch my landing on Taurus. And you'll see how no fuel doesn't stop me <laughs> from conducting a landing. Hell, go watch my landing on Jewel the other day in KSP. That was also pretty much a no fuel landing. So I ejected the cabin, or the capsule, and then I went on EVA and I thought, well, maybe I can use my rocket pack to finish the circularization. Circularization. My jetpack. So I did. I burnt as much as I could with a jetpack in a sort of prograde direction. Sort of. Um, I probably don't have to tell you that it didn't work and I ended up falling with the most terrifying Kerbal faces I have ever seen. Um, I, I cut the part we impacted with the ground. It wasn't pretty. Then I built a new plane. No, I'm lying. I just painted the old one. Painted it and adjusted some elevator and canard settings. That and then I made some changes to the rocket. I made it a little bit longer to make it more stable and gave it more fuel. I also turned down the thrust setting of the big rocket inside the aircraft so that it would burn for longer. Once again, the plane flew very well, just about perfectly, actually. I also, once again, had to keep an eye on the rocket fuel situation, transferring fuel from the plane back into the rocket because the plane kept sucking from the rocket's tanks. I hope that's one of the things that they patch first. It is annoying. Open the doors to fire the big rocket. I do love this big rocket. It is so cool. Even if the thrust has been cut in half. And it seemed to work well with half thrust. It didn't make much difference to the acceleration of the plane or the angle it could reach. And it burned for considerably longer. My aim here is just to get as high and fast as possible to launch the rocket. Okay, rocket tanks are full and the plane's tanks are empty. Time to launch the rocket. And this was a pretty cool launch. Out she comes, rocket on, <laughs> circles around the plane, nudges the tail a little bit and starts on her way. Still not the most stable rocket though. So I experienced a few 
directional issues again but it was not nearly as bad as the previous attempt and I was able to sort that out fairly quickly and get on my way back towards space. I say that, but there the rocket is actually still descending. But luckily I packed that extra fuel. Now at last it's doing a proper gravity turn, heading towards what I hope will become an orbit. First stage depleted, going to the second stage, which is also slightly enlarged. Bit more fuel. And there the Apo App is in space. So we cruise on up to Apo App. Beautiful sunset from space. And almost time to circularize. Periapsis is coming up and there we do there we there we go we have an orbit that is it achieved air launch to orbit and there's me showing off doing orbits and then I just raise the periapsis a bit because the time is getting slowed down because the periapsis is too low And now I can do lots of fast orbits. Aerial launch to orbit. Achieved. Albeit on the second attempt. Well, sort of second. Cost me a few more planes than just two. Okay, so what do you do once you're in orbit in space? Well, you try to de-orbit safely, of course. Not that safety is a huge uh, priority in Kerbal Space Program, but it's always nice if you can do it. And I, I, I sort of aimed to come down near Kerbal Space Center, but only sort of. I didn't have the fuel for it anyway. I can see my house from here. Coming down over the ocean for a nice splashdown. See the little Kerbin lying happily on his back. And then something strange happened. I've landed a few capsules, both on land and in the water. And this is the first time I've seen this. Well, she went underwater, which they do. But then she went really underwater and didn't come up again. That's well, okay for me. I'm a submariner by training. I'm used to being underwater, but um, spacecraft, they're not designed for that kind of pressure. And I, I think we're going to have to write that poor little Kerbal off. I didn't even get his name, to be quite honest. I'm, I'm a really bad person when it comes to Kerbals. Sorry, little guy. Um, so he's probably lying at the bottom of the ocean now. Yeah, okay, it says we recovered him, but uh, it, that was irrecoverable. This is just a PR stunt at the moment. He's gone. But thank you for joining me. See you again soon. OG out.